Hey YouTube, what's up, El Connor here? Okay, so, as promised, 2014, I'm going to be making tons of new videos. To kick things off, I'm going to be making a guide, or a video, that I've wanted to make for quite some time. Now this guide is going to be how to prevent a DDoS or a DOS attack. If you have ever had an experience of getting DOSed before, you will know how annoying it is. And that is one of the reasons why I'm making this guide now, to um, show you guys how to prevent these attacks. Okay, so what is a DOS or a DDoS attack? Well, these are performed in many different ways. One of the most common ones is a DOS attack, which is a denial of service attack, which involves a computer sending large amounts of packets to a source, so a network, a router, a computer, anything like that, to render it unavailable, to overload, to crash, and obviously making your internet go down. A DDoS, or a distributed denial of service attack, involves usually a bot network, so a botnet, uh, which has tens of thousands or thousands of computers that have been infected with um, specially made software, which when chosen to do so, the attacker then targets a source, which is normally an IP address, which sends messages to the master computers that control the slave computers. Uh, these slave computers are infected with the software and then all at one time those slave computers send large amounts of packets to the source causing the router or whatever it is that they're sending it to to overload with the amount of packets that's being sent to it and crash, obviously leaving you with no internet. Now we know what a DOS attack is, we can start preventing against them. Now, if you're a Skype user and you constantly are getting DDoSed, there are lots of things that you can do to prevent these attacks. If you're wondering how they're getting your IP address and how they are DDoSing you, it is as simple as going onto a website, so like a Skype resolver, typing in your username and it will then display your IP address which they will then use to send their packets to. The first method of prevention you can take is by going into your Skype options, going into the advanced tab and then going on to connection and clicking the allow direct connections to your contacts only. By default this is unticked and is not very secure. If you have this ticked, it means that only people on your contacts list will be able to see or get your IP address. And if they're not on your contacts, your IP address will remain hidden. Also, ensure you have an active firewall either on your computer or on your router, as not having a firewall means anything can come in or go out. So make sure that this is enabled. The best, or one of the best, prevention methods you can take is by getting a VPN, or a virtual private network. Basically, you install a client onto your computer, and it encrypts all of your web traffic, whatever you're doing online, it encrypts all of it uh, with a different IP address. It does this by routing your traffic to their server, which their server then makes the request to the internet, which then sends it back to you. So if the hacker or attacker thinks they've got your IP address, they send all the packets to that IP address and it's not your IP address. Um, so that is very, very helpful as they wouldn't even know that that's not your IP address unless you get a VPN that's pointed to somewhere like the US or somewhere similar and they know you're from United Kingdom, for example. So that is one of the best methods that you can take against preventing DDoS attacks. Two of the best VPNs that are available at the moment is Hotspot Shield and Private Internet Access. Now, Hotspot Shield is free, but it is not available to people under the age of 18. What you also have to be careful with is your browsing. So if you're doing things that's illegal, uh, Hotspot Shield say that they don't record any of your um, information or information that can be used to find out who you are. Um, but obviously you don't really know if you can trust that. And on the other hand, private internet access, it's 695 
um, dollars a month, which works out to about four pounds twenty a month. But they do not record any of your information at all. So obviously, hence the name private internet access. So obviously, if you are doing things that are a bit illegal, um, they are not, or they don't keep logs. So that's always helpful to know. Now these are only a handful of prevention methods that can be taken. If you'd like to see more in a future video, then please leave your comments down below telling me that you'd like to see more of this, or if you'd like to see videos that are similar to this, um, again, leave that in a comment below. But apart from that, I hope this video helped you guys, especially if you are having problems with DDoSers. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.